Welcome to beautiful and sunny Mallorca! We are Scylla and Casper and you're watching The Traveler's Planet. We are exploring from east to west and north to south and our goal with this video is to cover enough of the island to give you an idea about how desirable this island is. You might know Mallorca for its beautiful beaches and nature experiences. And if that's what you're looking for, you have plenty of different options here at Mallorca. But personally, we recommend you to go for the southeastern coast of Mallorca for these experiences. You can also choose to go through the northern part of Mallorca in Alcudia, where there's long sandy beaches. But personally, it's way too touristy for us. So we are heading off to the east coast right now. Are you ready, Sile? Wow, we made it to Calapi. How beautiful is this? I love it. Calapi is a beautiful small beach located in a small cove surrounded by high cliffs and pine trees. The beach itself is relatively small with fine white sand and crystal clear waters making it an ideal spot for swimming and snorkeling. The surrounding areas also offers great hiking for visitors. There's many trails and you can see the beautiful crystal blue water from all the trail hikes. The beach is easily accessible by car or bus and there's a few restaurants and shops nearby. Calapi is not the only beautiful and less touristy beach on the island. We drove to Cala Lombard to find a small idyllic beach where we sat down for a few hours. Cala Lombard is a stunning hidden gem located at the southeastern coast. With its crystal clear waters, fine sand and rocky cliffs, Cala Lombard is a paradise for those seeking a peaceful and natural beach experience. So whether you're looking for a romantic getaway or a family vacation, Cala Lombard is the perfect choice. Nearby we had a unique experience at the Cueva del Drac. The caves are known for the stunning underground lake, which is one of the largest underground lakes in the world. Visitors can take a guided tour of the caves and enjoy a classical music concert while boating on the lake. So after a beautiful concert that we couldn't film, we came into the boats and riding around the caves. It was spectacular. Really? That was, without a doubt, an incredible experience and definitely one we recommend. After visiting the Dragon Caves, we drove two to three minutes down to the Porto Cristo Bay and we're waiting here for some traditional Spanish food and we can't wait to enjoy it. One thing we really enjoy is exploring the West Coast and especially the Valley of Soyer and these ones. Sile! <laughs> One of the most iconic things about Soyer is the beautiful tram, a historic wooden train that connects the village Soyer and the nearby Port de Soyer with Palma. We went by car, but the locals told us that the ride is quite scenic, so do that instead. Another highlight of Soyer is the beautiful main square Plaza Constitucio, which is surrounded by charming restaurants. This square is also home to the impressive Iglesia de San Bartomeu, a beautiful church with a striking bell tower. And then, Casper is so right, you definitely can't miss to try some oranges when in Soyer. Overall, Soyer is such a charming little town on the west side of Mallorca. Feel the winds from Africa, the Alps, the ocean and the Spanish mainland. Welcome to Cap de Formenta, a natural peninsula on the northernmost tip of Mallorca. The winding roads offer the most stunning views of the coastline. Visiting this area of the island is great for incredible views, flora and fauna, not to mention hiking and a lot of mountain goats. At the very end of the peninsula you meet the iconic lighthouse which provides panoramic views of the sea and mountains. We highly recommend you watch a sunset from the place, bring some snacks and wine, this place is absolutely amazing. But this is not the only highlight at Cap de Fomenta. Along your way you will also be met by a lot of beautiful viewpoints like Mirador es Colomer. Another panoramic view to the sea, cliffs and hills. It will take your breath away for a moment we think. We really, really love this place on the island. So please go in the car and visit this place. It is magical. Cap de Fomenta is probably one of the greatest places we have experienced on Mallorca. On this trip, we are staying in the famous mountain range called Serra di Tramontana here at Mallorca. It is a huge mountain range located on the west part of the island and since 2011 it has been on the UNESCO's World Heritage Site. This is one of the places we love the most on the island, as you will be met by the most stunning views to the ocean as well as the most cute mountain villages. One of the most famous landmarks in Valdemosa is the Royal Monastery. 
It is quite beautiful, but we love to just stroll around the village and have lots and lots of tapas. Valdemosa is so beautiful that right now half of the city is closed off and the main square of the church. Because BBC is right now recording a series right downtown in Valdemosa. How incredible is that? We are staying at the most incredible hotel right outside of Valdemosa called Continental. And we are waiting for the sun to go down so we can make some epic drone footage. We can't wait to show you. But it's beautiful already. It's so beautiful already. I love it. I love it too. I love it. <laughs> The sun is set and it was super spectacular this night, but hopefully it is just one of many here at Mallorca. We had an amazing day and I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Sleep tight! Only 8 minutes from Valdemosa you'll find another mountain village called Deia, offering stunning views of the traditional building and winding streets. The village square is a charming spot with restaurants and cafes, offering delicious local cuisine. Deia do also offer a cute little beach with crystal clear water at Cala Dia. You should definitely book a lunch at Capatris March in advance. We tried to book one week prior in the spring, which is not the peak season yet and that was impossible. But we went up to the restaurants anyway and we we were so lucky that they were able to squeeze us in, even at one of the most popular tables with a sea view. Of course you need to explore the capital of the island called Palma de Mallorca. It is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful beaches, historic landmark and vibrant culture. The city is home to many mentionable attractions, including the Cathedral of Santa Maria. How beautiful is this? Palma is such a beautiful city and definitely worth visiting when you come to Mallorca. The vibe is so cool and I could easily spend more hours here to explore. Me too. We are ending our video here in one of Palma's many beautiful harbors. And this video just showed you what we think is the top things to do on Mallorca. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you will enjoy Mallorca so much. Safe travels.